Creativity is an addiction. I love it. I crave it. I also don't like it, and I don't love it. Because it does things to your mind, body, and soul that really play with your ambition of growing forward. I'm not alone in this. We're speaking the truth, man. We all live the, the, the same path. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Can you hear it? It's the wind outside these studio windows. Strong winds. Powerful winds. Whew. And man, it is loud when you step out into that forest. It's like an out-of-control rock concert. It's that noisy. It's that winter blast the nation has been talking about. 60-plus mile-an-hour winds. These nearly naked limbs outside this picture window. They react with a roar and or a moaning sound because they're moving from side to side. They're unveiling their aches and pains. Now, if you're one who gets motion sickness... You're not going to like this forest today because this collection of trees is swaying from this side to that side to over here, then over there. The soil is playing with the eyes connected to the stomach. The strength of the wind. Without huge southern storm clouds and lightning, your mind is going, what's going on here? It's nature at play. I've always been amazed at how all things move across the nation, making their own colorful art on those giant weather maps hosted by humans that are, that are there just to make us aware. But man, this wind, it's loud today. Louder than the normal conversation. My choice then is to listen. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. Little things like this serve as inspiration and motivation to dig deeper into the spirit of the atmosphere around us. There's always something to write about, to talk about. It doesn't have to be on CNN.com or it doesn't have to be a TikTok video. If you just stop and listen... You'll be amazed at where your heart grows. This is The Daily Mess. It's tough to write about Christmas and other holidays because of the numerous ways that we all celebrate. I do feel inside my heart right now that there is more joy in the atmosphere this season. But is it candy coated? Ooh, that's a bah humbug moment, isn't it? This is where I step away from that little sliver of doubt and darkness. Don't be a Scrooge. You aren't the Grinch. It's the power of choice. If face to face with the negative, your choice is to step free of the vibration. Become clear with those around you. Walk away. Participating with a conversation poisoned by another person's point of view has every reason to spoil your process. The days of feeling sorry for or overcompassionate for, they don't represent. We all want to be loved. And we all want to be accepted, but it has to come with rules. People have gotten really good at making us feel like fools. They play our hearts. They feed things into our head. They make us want to believe. And then, I'm so sorry. What can I do to help you? Yeah. When confronted with this, inside my mind, I wish you could hear me say, would this person be there? For me, it's not cold-hearted. Cold-hearted is when somebody plays off your emotions. Cold-hearted is when somebody steals from you to gain in their access into the world. Cold-hearted is when somebody is doing something that you know is wrong, but you come up with excuses for them being the way they are. My father used to tell me all the time, there's no excuse. You knew exactly what you were doing. And for that... We have a decision to make, and that is, how are we going to get you out of this state of mind? Because I don't think my belt on your butt is going to do it. You're just going to keep going back and doing it again and doing it again. You're not seeing the repercussions of you taking away from another person. Or we have those that overgive. Once again, because we want to be loved, we want to be accepted. And in the end, what we never see are the silent moments in the car, the bedroom, or the bathroom where they go, how am I going to pay for that? How? All I was wanting to be was grateful, mindful. I, I just wanted to help my community, but now I can't afford the electric bill. 
It's tough to write about Christmas and other holidays because of the numerous ways we all celebrate. I do feel joy this holiday season. Is it because I'm comparing it to 2021 and that of 2020? The painted photo inside my imagination of Christmas 2020. I didn't get to be with my daughter and my grandchildren. Oh, oh yeah, we saw each other. They were on that side of their driveway. I was on this side of their driveway. And we talked. We had masks on our face. We didn't know. But in the center were all the gifts. And we invited each other to take one at a time and open it up. Outside. That was our Christmas 2020. It's tough to write about Christmas and other holidays because of the numerous ways we all celebrate. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.